injury derailed him from a college dream for a kid clinging to hockey for hope while years of addiction followed. Then a trip to prison would change Marcel Hofker's life. Shayla Reeve shares how he is giving a second chance to hundreds of others and reconnecting with the sport he loves along the way. I don't believe in hopeless. As long as you don't give up, right, then you get another chance. Behind this computer, Marcel Hofker is doing the work that dreams are made of. You know, I have a future me somewhere out there that want, needs me to be where I am now. He and his team are providing opportunities and second chances. Yeah, so when I started, it was me and a, uh, a notepad, a lot of notepads. Um, since then, this year, we've grown to a staff of six uh, with, like, I'm paying real salaries. For Marcel, his own second chance started with a choice. One of the main people that we beat up on is ourselves. Still, there are some things about ourselves we can't change. I grew up in the suburbs as, as a black and white person, you know, a mixed person, and instantly discovered I was different. I went by Mark because Marcel was too different. But hockey is what people do in North St. Paul, what people did in North St. Paul. So I played hockey, and I loved hockey. Uh, it, it made me on equal footing with everybody else for that hour or two hours. A high school sports injury would turn hopes of playing in college upside down. So I missed my junior year. Uh, that's when I discovered marijuana, uh, painkillers, because they gave me a bunch of those. And you know I lost the structure of my sport. And to lose your only plan, it's, I don't know, you're just floating. So you look for something to fill that hole. A hole Marcel says he filled by using and selling drugs, beginning a years-long battle with addiction. Numerous trips to jail would follow, along with his first felony charge in 2013. He was sentenced to nearly five years in prison, but only served 10 months because of a prison boot camp program that changed his life. Having to be accountable, instant, instant accountability for everything you do, you know, and one of their big models was if you make a mistake, you know, Pick up and move on. Don't dwell on it. Uh, I've really put that into practice in my life. Since serving time, Marcel hasn't looked back, getting married, growing his family, rebuilding relationships, purchasing a home, and launching cello staffing services, now known as Strive Staffing. I've been able to hire almost 800 people uh, in the last five years. And that's, you know, some people go and, some pe and then they come back and I give them another chance and they go and they come back. but. My goal was to be there when they finally get it. After losing everything and starting from absolutely nothing, almost homeless, to, to what I have now, is, it's possible. Eric DeMay is the manager of operations. That he gave me the opportunity to work um, and just having, having a chance is what I have the gratitude for. I want to see uh, us really coming in and giving staffing, you know, temping a different look. You know, I think it should be more based on, you know, placements with purpose, you know, inclusive opportunity. As the agency grows, so does Marcel's reconnection to the sport he loved. So three years ago, I started playing hockey with a group called Recovery, uh, Community Recovery Hockey. It's a whole group of guys in recovery, and we go out and play hockey every week. That's amazing. Yeah. It's, it, I mean, it's something that was everything. So that, to finally have that back and to enjoy it and have fun out there, it's pretty amazing. Shayla Reeves, WCCO 4 News. Such a great story. We believe in you, Marcel. Well, Marcel tells Shayla that the jobs available through Strive Staffing right now include stadium cleaners and banquet servers for large events.